And here's what we're dealing with today. We've got Stella Bella over here playing on her play mat. I am like most of the way through my album purge that I'm doing. I've talked about that on my scrapbook channel. And then this is what we're left with. This is the like midway progress. We've got toys in bins and then I'm going to be organizing a little bit better for some of these bins. I think two of the blue boxes will stay. I also have to go through books and then there's lots of stuff on the top that's got to be dealt with. I don't want all the stuff on the top but a couple of things on top is fine. So that is what we're working with today. So I'm spit up on makeup free. The cedar around here is just really making my eyes itchy so I cannot wear my contacts and I didn't want to put makeup on around it because I've been messing with them a little bit so I'm doing makeup free today with glasses. So anyway, I'm just going to try to get the rest of this done, go through some books. I will set aside like some of the baby board books for Stella, but these containers are awesome. I was inspired by Tara's channel. She redid their playroom and she used just smaller containers. I thought I need bigger containers because there's some things that are just lots of bigger than a small container. I wanted them to also take up the whole square and I found these awesome ones at Target. They fit perfectly to, to a square, you can see. They fit perfectly and I can't believe it. So I love these. I will link to these on Target's website. I ended up going to two different Targets and picking up every one that they had. They only had a few each and then I ordered the rest online. So I ended up finally getting my ones to finish this project. We had only done the ones I had picked up from the store and now we are working on the rest. So I also have my labeler. I got this a couple of Christmases back for Black Friday. And I love this thing. So I'm going to label all the boxes. Libby can pretty much read now so she can read the labels on them and make sure she's putting things back. I found with the blue bins everything just got dumped and mixed together and nothing stayed organized and now we can see what's in the bins. We can organize them better and I also have, let's see, what do I have? I also have zipper bags. These are the slider kind so they're real easy for her to zip open and close. So for smaller things, if I have like a group of things, I will stick them in in a bag and label the whole box as a category. My goal is to get rid of some of these like smaller containers or just stick them in the box. Like this needs to go in a bag because the lid does not stay on. The ones on the top don't stay on. So this needs a bag, it needs to go in there with various other puzzles. Because I'm tired of these just stacked around and not really on the shelf. I want them like in a bin, organized. So if she wants to play with smaller puzzles, she knows to go to her smaller puzzles bin and pull them out. And I'm gonna see what I can do about those kind of puzzles because they just get wrecked. You can see, they just look terrible and I'm tired of it just looking junky in here and mismatched. So I want it all to be like organized and clean looking and appealing to the eye because it always looks trash. So that's what we're working with. I'll speed up footage and I'm gonna try to keep Stella occupied while I'm working on this. So let's get going. Also like this one, it's really hard to get them back in their original package. So I'm um, sticking them in a big box. We have plenty of room and they will actually stay together because a lot of times I have to help her put this one away. Shapes on there, the pictures. And also this is a different shapes game, Tangram. So I'm gonna put that one in too in a bag. So that way all the shapes can go together and that box can go in the recycle. I think I want to keep one bin of big kid dress up stuff and then I want to put the dolly clothes in one of these.
Okay, so I've got piles for books. I've got a couple of different piles going. I have piles over there of the same book. So these are ones for baby. I'm gonna set these aside in baby's pile and they will be downstairs. The plan moving forward in the house is to have all the little piece playroom stuff upstairs in the loft space like this. And then downstairs is only going to be art supplies and bigger items, like bigger Legos, baby proof things. I'll put the baby proof books down there, like, you know, harder pages, things she can't really rip aside from some of the flat books she can rip. And Libby ripped some of these to begin with, so it's no big deal if they get ripped again, but that's gonna be the plan for the downstairs books. I still have a couple of small cubbies with books down there I still need to go through. And then I pulled out some books that we have not read in a long time, so I don't know if we like these books. <laughs> so these are the ones that we're gonna weed out. We're gonna slowly read through them. I think I'll just have a stack up here so when we're doing reading time we can weed through the books and just keep the ones we actually like. Like I don't know if we've ever read this book and we've had this book I'm sure for years. So we're gonna just weed through those. And then downstairs I also have a reading section for Libby and these are gonna get added to that. We are doing the learning to read. She's reading me a book every day but some of these are a little too advanced for her right now so I'm just gonna set them aside until it's time to actually have her read some of these books on her own. And then I also pulled out seasonal books. So I have a stack of uh, seasonal books. There's a big giant stack of Christmas books and then I have other holidays as well. So I have those separately set aside so each holiday I can bring them out and they've just been kind of mixed in. So we're gonna set those aside and put them with the holiday books. You guys get as far as books, I'm just gonna have to put some of these in the right places. And so that'll be something I can do go back and forth for those things. I did end up putting a couple of her boxed toys. They looked like they had fit, but, oh, these ones also have to go up on the bookshelf. They looked like they would fit in the box, but it's only because Johnny and I specifically put everything how they went. So I'm glad to have more room for this box. And also the light bright thing, we always would find little light brights and they need to be upstairs. So I put them in a bin as well so that we could just pop the light bright pieces back in as we find them and that way baby won't get to them because she'll be in the loft space downstairs not loft space uh the playroom space downstairs the loft space upstairs is going to be under complete adult supervision only because we do have big kids small toys so we're going to make sure we just keep them away from little one and we'll have a gate up when she's mobile so she can't be going upstairs on her own kind of thing so I gotta put these on the shelf I pulled some books from Libby's room because she did have a lot of books but there's actually a gap for her to have these books. So I'm gonna stick those back on her shelf and finish up here. I wanted these blue boxes to both be up so that they would kind of coordinate a little bit. That has to go back in the robot box. That's the instructions to build robots. Okay, so I'm thinking the bottom level will just have more boxes on it, but I don't have anything for these last three boxes quite yet. All right, here's what we've got for progress so far. The shelves look good. I love the bins on the bottom, all matching. You can see what's in them. I'll get them labeled so that they will all match. The only thing that's not gonna stay put is the stack of books way on the end. That's gonna be the two go through pile. And then there's Stella's crib mattress. Livy likes to use it. She'll like do rolls on it and stuff in the middle of the room, do flips and things. And she also likes to watch TV up here. So she'll lay on that and watch TV sometimes. And then she's got her stuffed animal pile. This is kind of where we do our reading over here. I've got lots of stuff to purge, recycle bin stuff, books that go somewhere else, containers to put somewhere, trash, and then swinging around. I've got Stella in my arm, by the way. Swinging around, we've got the desk section. I've got a couple of things I need to film with planner stuff over there. More pictures to go through for my albums. That is almost complete. I gotta switch some albums into the stripies, and then I'm gonna keep a few of these ones. I just haven't decided which ones I'm keeping. And uh, that's it for today's progress, because Stella is um, ready to play. So she wants mommy time. I think we did good for progress today.